and welcome back, friends, to another episode of the Let's Play Show. I am here, my name is Annie Mock, I'm an author illustrator, I am here as always, and this is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. Yes, this is Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo, build strangely, but for marketing purposes really, as Super Mario World 2. We see here the stork carrying a pair of twins, so that settles any debate about whether, well, unless it's by minutes, whether which one is older and which one is younger, they're about the same age. Screech! These babies are mine! Wow. <laughs> Who's saying this? Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. And look at that fucking animation. <laughs> the stork just fucking <laughs> going back and forth like fucking crazy. Oh my god. And the second baby falls. So as I've heard other uh, YouTubers say before, Mario should never, ever, ever be able to take fall damage because as an infant, he fell from fantastic heights. Onto this Yoshi. Which really begs the question of what are Yoshi's lifespans like? Do they age like people? And if so, is this a totally different Yoshi that Mario meets in Super Mario World? And that this Yoshi is now long dead and perhaps... Uh, his friends are long dead. Yoshi takes a map, clutches it in his little hands, Kamek, the evil magic Koopa and kidnapper of the baby, quickly dispatches his toadies. And when he discovers that he missed the other baby! So, of course, Kamek or magic Koopa or whatever you're calling him uh, has Luigi and all the Yoshis are bringing baby Mario throughout the game throughout Yoshi's Island to find the other baby locked within Kamek's clutches because I guess Kamek is a suit true soothsayer who can see the future and can see that um, for uh, for um, the Bowser, for little Bowser Jr., it really will be a problem. Those little kids really will be a problem forever for little Bowser Jr. This paradise is Yoshi's Island, where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over the baby that fell from the sky. Wait. The baby seems to know where he wants to go. The bond between the twins informs each of them where the other one is. Weird. So it's again, it's as I mentioned in my uh, let's play of the GBA version, the kind of inferior GBA version. Um, it's like weird weathering heights shit where one baby can contact the other through telepathy. The Yoshis, spelled with an IE, decide to carry the baby to his destination via relay system. Now begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. And the first of the relay system is the iconic green Yoshi. Still begs the question, are Yoshis dinosaurs? What are they? Are they Yoshis? Are they a species unto themselves? Okay. 
Yep, 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 we got it. Because we have played this game before, have we not? Um, I hope most of you have played this game before uh, in some form. If you haven't, I really hope that you get the chance to. Uh, and there is really not much option at the moment besides emulation. Because a cart will cost you a pretty penny. System will cost you a pretty penny too. Unless you're using a Retron 5 or something like that. In which case the system will cost you a little less. Than a working Super Nintendo in this day and age. Or a classic. SNES classic if you can find one of those for uh, not a ridiculous price. Which is not... Okay. I got it. All right. So yeah, there's not, as I was saying, there's not much way, not many ways to play this game legally out right now. On the Wii U Virtual Console, you can play the GBA version. Problem with that is GBA sound card, much inferior. GBA's graphics card, a little bit inferior to the Super Nintendo. I mean, the level of detail that you're seeing in those lush marker backgrounds, and um, I'll definitely do an Art of episode about uh, Yoshi's Island, an Art of Video Games episode, which is the new series that, that I'm starting, which essentially examines video games that I believe are crafted well, are fun to play, are charming, all these attributes that I deem makes for an interesting, sweet, um, compelling game. That is a uh, video game analysis video series that is currently in the works and will be out soon. I believe the first episode is about... Second episode is about Undertale. Um, first episode is about the Sonic Advance trilogy. Oh god. Oh, yay yay. Here we go. Now, I'm not going for a 100% run because that's maddening, and particularly a 100% run in this game is really kind of a issue where RNG comes into play strongly, because you just can't predict any everything when it comes to deaths, because it doesn't save your progress after uh, each death doesn't save your progress with the, um, oh jeez. So this is just complete luck. And that's a shame. And that's a total shame. And we come to everyone's favorite level. <laughs> Watch out below. I'm joking, of course. It's not everyone's favorite level because this level is a bit of a pain in the ass for some people. And I think was very... Maybe as little kids... I think this game, this particular level, was a difficult or scary one. And let's use you for the purpose of 
getting up. I'll use you and make you into an egg, which is another weird concept that never really gets explained within the context of the Yoshi universe. Now we are heading up into the 10 minute mark, so we're going to end this episode. But uh, thank you so much for joining me, and like, comment, subscribe if you want. Look out for the Art of Video Game series coming soon, and thank you so much. Take care.